Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Even Splits. I'm Andrew. I'm Marco. I'm Ben. I'm Will. So we got a great show for you today, but first we're going to kick it off with an interview with Avery Bartlett. Got Avery Bartlett on the podcast. Um, what's up? Yeah, what's up? What's how, up, dude? How, how are you doing? Doing all right. It's been a, been a little bit of a crazy day. Woke up. Was uh, went, went to do a workout with uh, the team, whatnot, whatever. But for whatever reason, it just decided to monsoon in Atlanta. You know, because like usually you can just run outside in the rain. It's not a big deal or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But like it like hurt. Like the running was like the. <laughs> The rain like hurt my skin, so oh. the whole team we just called it and we took turns on the one treadmill we had. <laughs> three mile tempos. It was oh, kind of fun. Oh my <laughs> gosh. But you know, it's just like yeah, three miles at like five ten, and it wasn't wasn't like a workout or anything, but just something to yeah, keep some sharp. Light. Some light, some light, you know. Light, you know. Three miles by ten. Three, a little something light. Um, but yeah, and then I, then I went straight to. So I, I, I'm a part time coder. So I did that job, and then I rushed home. Impulse bought a 4K monitor. Oh my oh. god! No way. Here, I, I Impulse bought this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was like a uh, like a little like corporate or like you know internal like Craigslist thing. And this <laughs> lady just put up like, "Oh, I got this monitor, or whatever." And so I just Googled it, and it was like eight hundred dollars. But it was way less than that when I actually bought it. And so I don't even like. I hope it works. I don't know. I just kind of like, like three seconds or whatever, and I knew that'd be a quick one. So, and then that's I rushed sweet. home, and now I'm here, doing doing great things. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. That's sweet, sweet. Sweet. Let me ask you though: Are you uh, are you making a TikTok about the practice this morning? This thing, I, I wasn't planning on it because I don't. I didn't think a uh, like a three mile run was that exciting or whatever. Yeah. But it, it would have been perfect in hindsight because the story of like it's raining, we do it on treadmills. And I played sure. the greatest playlist in the world, which is uh, which is called uh, I'll just say it, jam my dick off. It's a playlist I have. <laughs> <laughs> it has like a t- twelve followers, and like you know, first Spotify playlist twelve followers. Twelve followers, like, that's quite a few. Hundred thousand on Instagram, you know. So. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So while we're talking about it, um, so why TikTok over YouTube if you're gonna do like vlogging and stuff? Sure. Um. Well, I, I kind of, like, first off, when, when Vine was a big thing, and when I was in high school, I, I had a flip phone, because my parents were just, like, like that, so I was like, <laughs> I kind of missed that, I, I kind of missed the whole, like, Vine thing, and that's, like, very me, like, short, like, stupid stuff, so I kind of, I kind of missed that, and then when TikTok started getting big, like, even, like, last, last year, when it was, like, really uncool, I would, like, go on it and see, like, little, small stuff, and I would make a bunch of stupid mm. videos not running related. Um, gotcha. and then, uh, and then like a year later I saw Westfly, you know, Everett and I, I kind of know him. So I saw him making videos and them doing well. So I thought I was like, I'll try the same thing. And then I kind of got my own style of doing it and it took off. Yeah. Clapping and, cheeks. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to keep doing this. But back to your question, the reason not YouTube is I would, if I could, I would absolutely love to make a YouTube channel. Right. But I feel like it's kind of like one or the other for me. Gotcha. And I feel like since YouTube's such a known platform, it would take like, you know, like a year at least to like be consistent to get to where the point I am now in TikTok. So I just kind of didn't have the, the juice or whatever to make a bunch of YouTube videos. But I haven't given up. It's still something I really want to do. Um, mm-hmm. But I also want to make TikTok videos as well. So it's kind of like if I could like film it with the same footage or whatever, uh, that would be that would be my dream. But, you know, we're not there yet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so when you got the idea for TikTok, did you tell your teammates the day before? Or did you just show <laughs> up one day with your phone out, getting all this footage? Kinda, yeah, I kind of like, because, like, I don't know. Because, like, from from my perspective, okay, I'm, I'm 22, okay? Like, I, I was a, a senior, you know, in college, and... You know, like, TikToks is what the, you know, the kids are doing, so, you know, <laughs> like, wow, Avery, you're trying to, like, relate or whatever, like, trying to be a 
trying to stay young and so i'm like no no no, just like like just give me a sec and so it was exactly like that i just showed up one day and was like hey buddy could you like film this for a little bit and he was like sure <laughs> and i would just like pick subtle things or whatever and at first people were kind of annoyed you know or just like oh he's making tiktok like wow cool avery but, uh, <laughs> but like obviously once it blew up it was like like the next day they were like oh my god like tiktok's so cool like oh i should make one or whatever so it was kind of mm-hmm. funny everything just like switching sides once they saw it. Well, yeah, once you get big, you know, everybody hops on. What's up? I said, once you once you get big, everybody hops on. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so that was yeah. kind of fun. But so, anyways, yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to still keep it going, you know. Yeah, yeah. having a lot of fun with it. Let's talk about um, this merch. So when are you planning to release it? Right, so... Um, I'm, I'm going to just talk about, I guess, kind of like my journey so far with merch. Or yeah, whatever. absolutely. So, yeah. obviously, I, like, clothing sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, part of my degree is actually design. Um, I, I tell everyone I'm computer science, but the actual degree name is computational media, which is like half coding, half design, websites, whatever. So, like, I, I, I've been designing a lot, and so, like, making merch, like, my own brand sounds like so much fun. And even one of my teammates, my best friend, he... He had a, a small brand that he did out of college. He's a skateboarder um, called Makalasi, and he like had enough connections and went to enough places and whatever, and like got his stuff in Supreme stores, got his stuff in Zoomies, you know, mm-hmm. like did really well. And so I just like talked to him a lot, um, just have his you know advice, you know, on what to do, what sells, like the steps you need to take. And so from there, I've I have kind of an idea of like what like, the sort of stuff I want to do. Um, and I'm trying to have a, a sort of balance between, like, having my brand brand and, you know, just doing, like, memes or whatever. You know, yeah. just, you know that's, I'm on TikTok or whatever, so I got to do that. <laughs> and uh, and so, so, yeah, I talked to him, all of my suppliers, making designs, so I'm kind of in the process of getting, like, my brand identity. So I stopped talking to a few graphic designers just to make it professional or whatever. And then once I do that, I'm gonna just make a few mock-ups, make a few samples, some one-offs, show them off my TikToks, and then actually Atlanta Track Club has been super, super clutch. And I, I may, not, I may not be able to talk about this publicly because it's not official. But anyways, they, they pretty much said that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, don't <laughs> worry, nobody's gonna watch. This. <laughs> I'm just gonna like hint at it. Like they, they said, they can help me out with making merch. That's oh, awesome. Awesome. Oh, All right. Awesome. So yeah, and so I'm excited, and then like. And I'm kind of the kind of guy that, like, I'm going to invest a lot of my own money in it, but, like, if it flops and I realize that, like, people, like, only like my TikToks and not merch, which is, like, I don't care if that happens, like, I'm okay with that. You know, I'm okay with losing however much money sure, sure. just to, you know, give it a shot. So I'm really, really buying into it, so it's fun. Well, hey, once you got them up, send a couple our way. <laughs> yeah, dude, we'll you 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 know, exactly. Maybe that's what I'll, I'll make you guys do uh, for this podcast is put, some, put my stuff in your meme channel. Yeah, for oh. sure. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Obviously, within, within your boundaries. Absolutely. But we'll see. We'll make it work. Anything. All right. Um, Story is something. Uh, good stuff. Uh, let me ask you guys something. Let me ask you guys. Yeah. Something. All right. Go for uh, it. So, so I, who's in who's in charge of the the meme channel? Me. You this is the meme this channel. Is just dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like the memes? <laughs> Where do you get your ideas, or or do you, do you make the memes, or do you just find them and post them? Yeah, I make them. Um. Really? Yeah. I just, I, I just get like random ideas. I just do it. Really? Yeah. That, 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 that's exactly what I do for TikTok, so I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, when did you start it? Oh, like in April. Okay, so it's, it's, it's pick it up pretty quick. Yeah. It's good stuff. Man. It's kind of a it's kind of a wonder to all of us actually, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's like a wonder. It's I, I sometimes I go, how are you? How do you have ten thousand followers on Instagram? Like what? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's actually, crazy. I made merch and it says like run fast, eat ass. <laughs> yeah. <I love> that. <laughs> and, like ten, like ten people have bought in. <laughs> run fast, eat ass. Yeah. If, if if I wasn't like sponsored by big companies, I would say. I would say some silly things, man. Oh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Cause like, cause like, I, I don't really say this much on, on like my TikTok, but like in real life, like I don't know, I've, I, I say a lot of foul things, but like, <laughs> you know, like I'm sponsored by like big companies and like a non, like my my team is like a nonprofit. You know, I gotta, yeah, yeah. I have to do my very best, you know, to like, keep it as PG as possible. <laughs> that is, oh, I love yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> that is sick. 
Okay. All right. Uh, Anyways. So, <laughs> all right. So we're gonna take it way back. How did you start running? Let's do it. Running? Yeah. Yeah. Like how'd you get it? Like with the story behind it. Okay. Okay. I think it's 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 a pretty typical story that I feel like you know is pretty common throughout a lot of runners. So throughout middle school, or whatever, like I was mainly a soccer guy. You know, right, yeah. I was and I was mainly good just because I was like the you know the fastest guy on the uh, on the field. If not, you know, like the first half, I'd be the fastest guy the second half because everyone's tired or whatever. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And so because of that, you know, and and where I'm from, like uh, cross country and soccer on like different parts of the season. So like, yo, like you want to get good for soccer, do cross country. And I didn't really like train at all. Like my uh, my middle school was like not like th- their sports program was like super super casual. And so I would just like show up to meets without training, like not even warm up, and just like run. And I mean, I wasn't I wasn't great or anything. I think I ran like a 12, 12 minute three k, which is like not bad, but not nothing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, a, not a prodigy. And then same thing going into high school. And when I went to high school is when I really started taking it seriously. Because my coach is, you know, he, he, he's absolutely, my high school coach is absolutely, absolutely insane. So he, he kind of talked me into doing it to, you know, train for soccer or whatnot. And I kind of did pretty good at it. And I was still, like, going to, like, you know, whatever soccer practice. And then one day I was like, oh, yo, can I, can I leave early? I have soccer practice. He's like, you have soccer practice? Are you kidding? Like, go here, blah, 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 blah. He made me quit the team. And, and so I was just like, oh, you know, like, whatever, dude. And so then... After that, I just kind of stuck with cross country, and just ended up just getting better and better and better and better and better. So, and I guess now I'm here. Oh, <laughs> so, wow, pretty yeah. typical story from soccer to running. Well, well, speaking you know, of speaking of where you are now, I uh, or where where you are like on the team and everything, uh, yeah. I saw that on your TikTok after the meet in Boston when Abe got the fastest mile in the world. Uh, you right. did that two mile. Uh, you did that two mile workout like four fifty eight and four fifty three something like that. Right. What's that like? Like, <laughs> like what? Do you, what do you say to Abe at that point? Was, was he just in shock? It, it's just no. It's like it's an, it's like every day for him. Like honestly, like he, he knew he'd have a workout after, but uh, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, he 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 just there was I mean there wasn't really even a pacer for that race. Like if the coach was like, yo, just like do your best race. And like we knew he was an insane in yeah he we knew he was in insane shape because he ran a two eighteen one k like the first week of January and two eighteen like he came through the eight hundred one forty nine or whatever and then like every meet half that was like good like insane so I kind of knew like he had an absolutely insane race in him and he still like surprised everybody and I mean the workout after yeah that was it was tough but like. Like if you see like what we do every day and like all the workouts, it's mm-hmm. like it's, a workout after like that isn't like insane really because we have USA's next weekend, so that was just like the last little push of fitness. So before, uh, how is the that. transition from college to pro running? Like all the workouts. Yeah, yeah, not what I expected. Uh, more so, it, it wasn't so just like the you know like the lifestyle change and like the the stage wasn't that different because I was, you know, in college I was still, you know, running super fast times, beating pros, running against pros, whatever. But the coaching is, is super different, right? Like in college they played it safe a lot. So I would do like high mileage, do like workouts that were like hard but not insane. Um, and then I could, you know, like run 147 by the end of the season consistently. But now it's it's a little different where – like, I get on the team, and every workout, they're just, like, trying to kill you almost. Like, it's a little more risky in that sense. Like, my mileage is lower, but the intensity is way higher. Mm-hmm. So I'm almost, like, learning how to run again. And it's kind of weird. Wow. Cause I used to be just, like, so aerobic, uh, aerobically fit that I could just, like, I don't know, like, close the last 227, 26, like, all the time, whenever. But now, since the, the training's so, like, intense, it's, it's all about, I guess, like, it's, it's, it's all about being able, being able to, like, go out in a 50 and that feeling comfortable, you know, in the 800, and then just, like, just being able to just dig deep enough and close. And mm-hmm. so, like, the kick that I had in college is it's not really, like, there. So, like, the first few races of this tra- of this training where, like, my legs are kind of tired, I'm like, I know I'm really strong, but, like, like my kick that used to be just, like, kind of snappy to go the last 200 was, like, not there at all. 
And so it was just like, I was like freaking out. I was like, yeah, yeah. you know, like, like this training is terrible. Like, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. But slowly the more I've done it and like I train with Abe, you know, like, like every workout he does, I do. Um, so like just seeing him improve is kind of making me like, Hopeful. I don't know, be a little more open to being slow right now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Trust yeah, the process yeah. a little bit. As far as like busyness goes, like I was just as busy in college, so or nice. in and out, whatnot, but it's just really like the training is a lot different. And our coach, you know, uh, Amy Begley, you know, she was a 2008 Olympian, was under the Oregon Project. Like, she, she's seen it all. She knows what it takes. So, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll get into it by outdoor. Yeah, definitely. Nice. What's, uh, okay. what, what do you prefer, the 15 or the 800? I think in the long, like, I've had the most success in the 800, uh, obviously, but I think in the long term, I'll be more of a 1500 meter runner. Okay. Because, like, at, at my level, all the best 800, 800 runners could split, like, 45, you know, can, you know, go 114 in a 600, right? But I feel like I'm, I'm more of, like, I'm, I'm a little bit more aerobic than all of them. Like, okay. like they, they have their 400s, but, you know, I, I, I can run pretty good in cross country, gotcha. uh, do some of they can. So I think in the long term, I'll say the 1500 for sure. So then, yeah, I follow up to, uh, so with that, you know, got everybody's got Olympic trials on their mind. Is that kind of what one of the goals y'all are looking for this outdoor season? Or Absolutely, what's, what's yeah. There? So, which is kind of like, uh, it's, it's kind of like weird for me because like this is my adjustment year or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, like going into the pros, new coaches, like they don't really care how fast I run. But like, obviously I care how fast I run. Sure. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, the Olympic trials is the big goal, uh, and it's like the USA Championships, and I've I've been to that meet the last three years. So if I if I run as good as I have been in the past three years, I should definitely make it. All right. Doubt. Sweet. So it's just a matter it's just about adjusting to the new training and getting into it, learning how to run again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So so, your first day of practice, and this is kind of like a repeat to the question from earlier, but when you when you you know, started making a TikTok. I mean, the, you're. Oh, my TikTok. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. That's how I know him. I've been watching him for like months. <laughs> um, so I mean, yes, I feel like that's that's, that's why I'm on here is for the TikTok. You know, there's plenty of plenty of good runners. Uh, <laughs> no, plenty yeah. of good runners yeah. make TikToks, right? That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's this guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, uh, you know, I, I was walking in the hallway with him just t- either today or yesterday. And I asked him who we're interviewing today, and when he said Avery Bartlett, he can attest. I literally went, "No way, yeah. no!" Yeah. I, I, I was yeah. moment. I was extremely yeah. excited. Yeah. So, so, so you walk oh, into yeah. your first practice or whatever the first practice was that you had your uh, your phone out, right? And were they looking at you like, like, man, this is the rookie, you know, making a TikTok, <laughs> or was he like, oh man, like, like, yeah, we have Avery Bartlett from TikTok. He, like, did you have the clout? I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I would say that, like, 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 also, like, like, going back to TikTok, like, these are, like, old, like, I'm, like, the youngest dude on this team by a lot, and so, like, to them, TikTok, they, they like, don't really understand exactly what it is, <laughs> so I just kind of have to go, just, like, yo, just, like, just film stuff, film anything, and I'll make it work, whatever, but, like, but, like, as, but, like, if, uh, as far as, like, them, like, being open to it, like, as I just say, like, yeah, I'm on TikTok. I got many followers. They'll be like, okay, cool. You know, like, you do whatever you do. You know, it doesn't doesn't take much explaining or whatever. So, yeah, I say, say they're more open to it. They're more open to it. Mm-hmm. And now that I'm, like, you know, on the team for a bit, they're all, like, super, super respectful and really with it. So, you know, hopefully there'll be some good content in the future, you know, because my favorite part about TikTok is, like, filming, like, not the workouts, but, like, us goofing off afterwards. Yeah. And, uh... True. Yes. I, like definitely, I, I I wish I could just do like you know like twenty seconds of the workout and then like majority of us just like goofing out, kind of like goofing off like David Dobrik style or whatever. But, <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. You know, just like just like getting getting my teammates to like open up on camera because I don't want to make it like you know like staged or unnatural. So mm-hmm. yeah. so yeah, that's that's actually what I'm thinking about in the future is just getting I'm uh, showing off their personalities on the TikTok, yeah. which right. is what I like to do. Well, sweet man, thanks for uh, thanks for coming on. Um, Absolutely, Avery Barley. You should check him out on TikTok. Uh, got upcoming merch, so keep an eye out for that. And uh, yeah, so great interview. Thanks for coming. Yeah, awesome.
Thank you so much to Avery Bartlett for coming on. If it sounds like we're on Facebook Live, it's because we are. Skype was... Had some technical difficulties. Skype had some technical <laughs> difficulties. Yeah, Not cool, Skype. Working it out. Gotta say, I wasn't surprised, though. So, let's talk about Tyreek Hill first. All right. Oh, um, yes. Says he wants to be a sprinter. Olympic oh. sprinter. He, says Olympic he, wants sprinter. To, he wants to do it again. Uh, oh. Not only that, he also wants to go to the Olympic trials also. Mm. That's, uh, that definitely not. We'll see. Listen, this I'm all for it because I think it's cool. Um, you know, Tyreek Hill, he's uh, obviously a really great athlete. Um, yeah. Now, he's going to do, you know, he's very fast. Very he's fast. one of the fastest guys in football. Do I think he can make the trials under no circumstances? Absolutely. No. Um but I think it's really cool he wants to cross sports. And, and, and of, of all people yeah. in football, you know, you always hear people talking about, um, oh, like, what's football guys are going to come over and show those track guys, like, how it's done. Like, that's not, like, he ran track. He, he knows what's yeah. up. Um, yeah. He's got at least a little clout um, in the track world, so I think it's cool that he wants to run. Um, yeah. yeah, no no way. To what's see his 40 time? I don't even know. What, Cause, I don't, cause here, let me look up what like, he ran at the trials. I feel like football people always ask no, track people the, what their 40 the, times the, are. His high oh, school uh, 100 was 1019, and his 200 was 2014. That was in high school, though. Yeah. And that's, like, that's a long that time ago. Six years ago. Yeah. So he ran so he ran 421 in the 40, which is very fast. Um, so he's got great starting speed. The issue is... Sorry for the dog. The <laughs> issue is he's racing... Christian Coleman, who is the best starter in the game. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Noah Lyles, who has the best top end speed in the game. Yeah. So, um, he dev- I, I think I think he should go for the two hundred, honestly, because the the yeah he's got to face Noah Lyles and that spot's locked up. But um, after that, you know, it's the two hundred. Anything can happen. Um, yeah. And it's the American two hundred, no less. So really, anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think that's probably his best bet. Did you see him? Uh, you see him in practice. Some guy comes up. He says, "Hey, I heard you want to do sprinting. You know, there's a track right back there, and some real top level sprinters train there all the time." And he says, "He says, then come, then come to me. Then come to me if they want to, <laughs> if they want to yeah. see what I can do." I, no, I don't know. I mean, I there's there there's going to be some reason why he end up ends up not running. I think it'd be cool. I don't think he's going to run at the trials. Because though. oh, I'm, well, he's not going to run at the trials because he's not going to. Well, who? Yeah, I think. Um, I was gonna say because like, I don't think Tyreek Hill is gonna succeed first of all because like, they just won the Super Bowl. Yeah, okay, that, yeah, that's true. They just won a Super Bowl. Coming off of a hard season. Exactly, and plus like they're gonna be celebrating you know God knows when until like they come yeah. back to training. <laughs> there so, was like, a lot little, of little J.R. Smith. I mean, we yeah, have yeah, 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 yeah. If you read his statement, it's, he says a lot. There's a lot of maybes and like yeah, if it true. works. So I think it's kind of just like you know Super or Pro Bowl media day and getting asked a lot of questions. Yeah. Uh, it would be cool if he ran it like pen relays or something, though. I think that'd be yeah. pretty sick. Like, well, I think it's um, also fair to mention that I don't think he, like, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't that a question that somebody asked yes, him? Yes, yeah. correct. Like, like he's um, not coming really. out here and just saying, Somebody like, asked him, if he, if he'd shown interest, and somebody asked him, is some is that something you want to pursue? And then he, he said that he wanted to run in the trials and in the Olympics. Yeah, and yeah. granted, like, he has rolled with it. Yeah. But I don't, like, he's not coming out here and just, Talking all of this, he's not talking trash. Yeah. He's not talking trash just because he's talking trash because I don't even somebody think mentioned trash. it. He just he will let him want yeah. to do it. Like, yeah, but there's like, some it's a challenge. There's uh, a lot of in there. I mean, I think overall it's a positive for the sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, definitely. It, it, yeah, it's yeah, more exposure, more exposure, um, cross sport. Any, it's always a positive. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is today is Thursday, February eighth. Um, last episode we recorded on Monday. And <clears throat> that was before, po- <clears throat> excuse me, post uh, World Athletics rule mm. about um, the stack height, um, pre Alpha Flies, pre pre Nike coming pre Nike passive aggressive thirty nine and a half um, so, and one half. <laughs> so the Alpha Flies are legal, um, apparently. Yeah, they're going to be released the day before the trials. Um, yeah. I think the that debate lives on. <laughs> any shoe with the carbon plate should be illegal. Oh, hot Ooh, take from Mark. That is a Ooh. that is a hot that's, take. That's just what I think. Yeah, I mean, I think it's our. I think that, that you're probably right, but the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. And there's mm-hmm. almost no way to walk it back now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. I'm so sick of shoe takes and shoe debates and 
can we just not can we just acknowledge that these people are unbelievably fast? <laughs> like, yeah. um, no, no, we cannot because Nike came out. They <laughs> no. Nike came out the new shoes. Okay. It's split down the middle. I like the way they look. I don't like the black and green I do colorway not. that okay. blown up. I like I like the white. If you look in the USA kit promo, the, the, those, are, those ones, are nice. Those are nice. But, nice. but here's the thing, though. The black and green one reminds me of like elementary shoes that you would wear. That's like, true. Like, yeah, you're, like, I think the color like the ones that were lit up. Dude, Nike shocks. Also, like <laughs> yeah. Also, no, those Nike zigzags. Oh. Yeah. But also the thing is like, it's just like super. Okay. It reminds me, of, like, it, like it we is. were we were talking about it in DMs, right? And like when Marco first showed us the picture of um, the shoe, I said, and I'm pretty sure all of us agree, that shoe looks like a dad with jort with jort and a Hawaii oh, yeah. t-shirt outside mowing the lawn. That's like the type of shoe that like that dad would wear. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's get Ellie Kipchoge in some khaki shorts mowing the lawn. <laughs> it should. We should <laughs> note though, however, the Alpha Flies that are being released. Are not the same as the prototype shoes that he wore in uh, Ineos 159. Yeah, yeah. No. Um, they're supposedly different. Nike didn't say what modifications they made, they, but, yeah. but they are. They are different. They also released three other pairs of That's shoes right. and yes. spikes. Mm-hmm. The, uh, the, this the, thing is so the long. Tempo. The okay, so here's the Nike Air Zoom Next Percent Tempo. That it's just so long. Which I think is supposed to be kind of a replace of the Pegasus Turbo. Yeah. Right. It, could, uh, it doesn't have a just plate in your yeah. hey, Here's a question. Does Mo Farah start wearing these shoes? Because he's, he's got the Pegasus. You know, he has those specially made Pegasus with the symbol. Right, right. Yeah. And they cut out the heels that it does bother his Achilles. Sure. Does he look at these and he goes, you know what? These, these are something special. I think probably. I mean, probably. Yeah. He ran it. He ran the London Marathon in the in the next percents. Yeah. Um. So I can't imagine why he wouldn't use the latest technology, especially if it makes yeah. you twenty yeah. percent faster, like Nike says it does. <laughs> but here, but here's like one thing I would expect though, because like, I'm, because all of us have seen the new victories, right? Mm-hmm. Mofer is for sure gonna get like his own custom. Yeah. Because oh, like right. colorway, like the red, like the the old victory threes, how like. It was red, and like the Nike swoosh had the uh, great British, uh, British flag on it, and the spike plate was the first victory, the victory ones. Mm-hmm. So like, I expect something like that at most. Yeah, yeah. Spike. And the Viper flies, the one hundred meter spikes, they're apparently they're they're banned. Still illegal. Yeah, yeah still illegal. Still yeah. Yeah. Working out something on that. Nothing about the plate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're actually uh, ingrained into. The shoe. Yeah, there was, really tec- there was a technical uh, rule, something that they it's did. Some old rule. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so. Um, so yeah, the so this all kind of got released all at the same time with the new Olympic kits, the new Pro Elite kits. Um, I think they look pretty cool. Yeah. The Olympic Oh, the Olympic, Olympic yeah. kits? Yeah. We're talking about like, the Olympic kits. The USA yeah. Olympic kits specifically. Those, yeah. those are dope. I mean, um, the, the Nike nice. one, though, it's kind of dull, kind of yeah. boring. Yeah. Not that um, much spark is as like compared last to year's. last year's was like what blue, and, was like blue and green. Blue and green. And oh yeah, well, those like, were like the blue with like the green yeah, yeah, yeah. camo. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like black with like navy blue stripes. It's kind of I mean, boring. Yeah, I'd be interested. I'd, interested to see if Nike puts as much money and R and D into um, their clothing as they do their shoes because I feel like there's a lot of optimization there that hasn't been explored with like. Lightness and yeah. um, airflow and kind of still and been the same for yeah, a long yeah. time it's, now. Everything yeah. stayed there. which so that could either mean they've hit their peak in, in innovation or um, they're just kind of not focusing on it. But um, yeah, I'd yeah. be interested to know that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I think right now with Eli Kipchoge and all the distance shoe controversy, I think that they're really just going to focus on that for a bit because yeah. because That's not right. only not only are they uh, bending their or you know focusing on their greatest track or greatest running athlete but that's also pr there's a lot yeah. of pr there oh yeah not They're a bad time to in. be in the shoe business not a bad time at all all right that is it for shoe takes this episode you'll have to come back next time for some more there okay um, okay but if we got <laughs> I got we, one more. I got one okay, more. Okay, we'll come, one, later. One, later. come later. One more if you must. Okay, we can, we, segue, we can segue. We can segue. Nike released the distance like road shoes and they released sprint spikes. Sure. Uh-huh. 
However, question. Best distance track spike. Or coolest one that you like. I'm partial to the Brooks Wire V2s. Um, I've, I've run in those for a, a year and a half now. That's true. They're Never iconic. treated me wrong. Iconic. Um, white and gold. You know, it's a it's a great shoe. Oh, yeah. Never, never treated it's me like wrong. It's like a respectful tribute to Michael Johnson. That's well, true. I mean... The new Nike ones, they've got to be really good. Cause, uh, uh, the Mamba? I will not the, be trying. Which, the, the, <laughs> the, no, the Vickers? The, 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 the one that just released. No, no, I'm, ta oh. I'm talking about distance. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. They, they the released a new set of Vickers. Yeah, the Victory, Victory, Victory. Oh, Victory. oh my, I'm so sorry. They've got, yeah. like, Air Zoom and... The only thing... Do they have Zoom X on them? I do not know. Oh, on, on the... On the new Nike Air Zoom next percent, um, the Zoom is backwards on the heel. It's a zoom Wait, X and it's backwards. Like X zoom? Yeah. Like, or it's X moves. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that is it for shoe takes. All right, that's, that's it for shoe takes. Uh, we got a preview of the Milrose games. Um, go. Got some got some great races this weekend. Hot take. I got a hot at, take. Uh, at the Milrose games. <coughs> Gosh, I'm coughing. Uh, what are we starting off with? Um, We can talk about Let's stack 800 meters. All right. That's what I was going to say as well. Yeah. Let's uh let's see men's eight hundred. Yes sir. Uh we uh, this is this is gonna be a crazy race. Y'all y'all I don't remember exactly who the uh Brazier Brazier Hopple, Hopple that's right Isaiah Harris yes Chris O'Hare or was he the fifteen? Or uh, Chris O'Hare is in the three thousand I believe. Man, I should um, just leave. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> well, I take, I'm taking Hopple. Everything six eight champion. I take six eight. You're champion. taking Hopple over Brazier. I mean Brazier. That, I was hot talking take. to Brazier. Eric Sawinski. Yeah. yeah. I'm taking a hot take. I'm taking a hot take. I'm taking Hopple over. That's wow. Man, and after Brazier looks so good in his 600? It's going to go better. Wow. Talking, you're going to change his mind. Yeah. Talking about no, Brazier. No matter. Um, no matter. I got Bryce. I got Bryce. He's going to be on the podcast. So oh, that's true. I, I talked to him yesterday. He was going to be on today, but he had to travel for the members. I'm just kidding, Donovan. I'm, so, yeah. I'm, I'm, stay I'm, tuned. I'm, we got Donovan <laughs> Brazier. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, the men's 3K is also loaded yeah um that's that's probably my favorite event of the weekend who, who we do we got in the 3k paul tanui hassan mead edwin kurgot um the king of the ncaa 10k riley masters justin knight nico young who is going for nico. a um junior he is he is our age and is yeah. going trying to run 730 something in the 3k um <laughs> which is absurd and uh, that that's gonna be an uh, an American uh, junior record, U twenty yeah. record, um, yeah, which is wild. Do you think we, we were looking it? at a, we were looking Do at it before. I? Will's dad sent him a oh, sent yeah. him a work one of Nico Young's workouts. It's it's a mile at oh, four ten, oh, then an eight hundred at two oh six, six. six. Yeah. then four then a four sixteen mile. Followed by a 207. In a workout, too. In a workout. So That's he's in workout. shape. That's a school record. Yeah, yeah, yeah not that. 410 is, is like beating our school record by like, what, four seconds? Four seconds. Um, so he's in shape. Can he do it? He's got a quick turnaround from XC um, cross country season. I don't know. Yeah, but now that he's in a faster field, how do you think that'll affect him? Because now he won't be at the front. Yeah. You know? He's always he'll, at the front. He'll be able to latch on to somebody. Yeah. And just say, That's okay, true. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay right here, and I'm gonna be here for as long as I can. Yeah, I think people respond differently to that. Some, you know, if depending on the kind of runner you are, if you like being at the front, it can mm -hmm. really mess you up to be in the back of a field and feel like you're running your best. Um, but I think he's gonna run pretty well. Will he get the record? I don't know. It's gonna be a crazy fast time, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, mm -hmm. that's gonna be a good race. Uh, the men's mile, also loaded. Um, Started mile race walk. Hold on. Lil Britson. No. Middle, middle Britson. Middle Britson. Middle, middle, middle middle Britson. Britson. My Philly. apologies. Um, who else? For those of you who don't know, Inga Britson from uh, yes. Norway. Yes. Norway. Yeah, Norway. Yes. Norway. I the Speed Holland. Suit Trio. The That's Speed what, Suit Trio. That's what I call them. Yeah. Oliver Hawar. Is this Oliver Hawar's uh, debut indoor? Has he raced this season? I don't know. Um, I don't know either. I seem to be uh, walking this will be my This is going to be a good race, too, though. Um, is he a fifth-year senior? Where is uh, he? I think he, this will be his last year. His last year. Um, Chris O'Hare, Nick Beamish? Willis, Jordy Beamish. Um, he'll be in this race. Ben for many of you. too. Ben no, Ben, I saw he posted on his Instagram that he's not going to be running. Okay, interesting. Wow. Heartbroken. Um, 
Heard it here first, folks. Carlos Villarreal. Yeah, that's true. Um, the, now, it'll be interesting to see how these races go because, uh, as some people may know, World Indoors has been canceled mm-hmm. um, yeah. because of the coronavirus. Uh, very serious issue, um, the coronavirus in China. But um, so now there's no standard. You know, there's no need to hit a standard. Um, you don't. You know, it, it'll be there's interesting to see to how this indoor, cha- indoor season changes. I don't know how they'll run. Um, it'll be. It'll be interesting, though. What else we got? Hot take. They should keep it in China. And this time, <coughs> Craig Ingalls wins, slams a corona instead. <laughs> I'm, I I, I'm willing to put everyone, every big runner at that meet in danger so that Craig Ingalls can do that one joke. Anything for the bit. Oh, you know uh, what a corona always gets? A lime. It gets its lime. It gets, gets its lime. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, can- cancel the podcast. We can't do this anymore. Yeah, so No Rose Games coming up this weekend. Um, it's going to be hype. Yeah, yeah. we're going to be watching it at our own track meet. <laughs> That's yes. true. Hit us uh, up. If you guys are around, Cy Ridge, Ram Tough We Live. Absolutely. But this actually, is going to be released. Actually, I don't think we'll have posted by yeah. this. Yeah, uh, no, that's true. Never mind. Um, ah. if you th- oh. My favorite talk about You want to talk about Evan Jagger? Evan Jagger? Yeah. Oh! Evan Jagger! It's comeback. World leading mile of time, 356.5. How we feel? My man. I love Evan Jagger. How do we feel? Anytime I see Evan Jagger, I get a smile on my head. That's true. <laughs> Especially after that 18th month hiatus, it just like... I'm, I'm happy he's back, I'm going to be honest. I think it's it's overdue. It's, it's a mm. good season for Bowman. That's true. Bowman. That's true, because Sean McGordy was right behind him. I think he was like two seconds or like three seconds away. Like from Jagger, so like Sean, yeah, he was right in that race. He was right, yeah, um, he was right. He was like second. He wasn't that far off. So yeah, Evan Jagger ran really well, and he looked. If y'all, if you go back and watch a f- footage of the race, he looked real strong mm-hmm. um, throughout the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, what was I about to say? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, like Marco was saying, Bowerman team is going to be solid yeah. this year. Yeah. yeah. We got um, Matthew Centrowitz. I, mean, right. I haven't Central. seen a lot. I forget. Of I keep. For, I forget. Centro was with them. Centro. Yeah, because he made the switch. Um, yeah. So right, yeah, right, good right, year. Af- right before the rest um, in peace yeah, Oregon say, project. Say what you want about Matthew Centro, but he knows when to get out. <laughs> you know, he should go to Wall Street. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's doing okay. Though. I think. Uh, I saw an interview with him. He talked about how his training has completely flipped, being with uh, uh, the. Bowerman team now. He's not in Mer- Yeah, he moved doing a lot of mileage. Yeah. And, uh, he's not in Maryland anymore, right? Yeah. He's so yeah. I think he's been he's been kind of going back and forth. I think he's going to have a really good year this year. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Sparks. you know, it's an Olympic year and he's the gold medalist, mm-hmm. reigning gold medalist in the fifteen hundred. So you can never count him out. Yeah. yeah not right always now. be in it. Um, and he's he's still looked pretty strong. Yeah. The last couple couple times I've seen him. I think this year will be very interesting to see how his training goes. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so I got a question. Um, Evan Jager, you know, um, came within a breath of breaking uh, eight flat in the steeple. Um, what odds would you give him to do it? Do you think he can do it? What is or his odds good um, to break eight flat in the steeple? He ran eight oh two for an American record, I think, falling down on the last hurdle. Um, I think he's gonna go into it. He's going to be so much. It it it's one thing to just have it, but now it's personal for him. Yeah, yeah. You the know? dude's hungry. Like he, you know, he wants it. He is hungry. He really go. Yeah. And I'm hopeful. He's been my favorite runner ever since I started paying attention, just because of his hair alone. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um. And I I'm I'm. He's someone that I'll never count out. Yeah. Yeah. That's never. Absolutely. That's true. All right, we got uh, we got to talk about Mondo Duplantis, and we got to wrap it up. We're running out of time. Mm-hmm. Um, Ooh, that cover hurt. Did y'all see this? I saw Mondo. Mondo. Yeah, it just like the elbow just like pop. I mean, it's <laughs> it's February, <laughs> and he is going literally an elbow he's away from breaking the world it. record. Yeah, yeah. I think he's gonna have a stellar year, and and in the right time mm-hmm. for the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all he needed to do to get a world record was just go scoop. Yeah. <laughs> Just get it back a little bit. We got it. See, that's... y'all should definitely go watch the video. It's a crazy. I mean, he yeah. just missed it. Yeah, but... that's that's one of those things in track and field where even if you don't pay attention to track and field, if you're a total newbie, you look at that and you say that is something special. Oh yeah, that shouldn't be. 
It's been a while since they've had a real contender for the pole vault world record, I think. Mm -hmm. They've had uh, Sam Kendricks and the other guy. Um, From France, I think. Yeah. Um, But anyway. This guy's really young. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's what, 19? No, he's older than that. I thought he was 22. (laughs) Yeah, he's he's, in his early 20s. But he'll he'll be around for a while. Um, Oh, definitely. Also a plus for the sport, having a young guy like that. Yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. He's at LSU. LSU, yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Really? Yeah. Um, He's from Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, great. Well, uh, that's it. That's all we got this week. That's all we got. Um, yeah. Check us out. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment. Uh, follow us on Instagram. Mm-hmm. We'll most likely thank you in person. <laughs> <laughs> Even Swiss podcast. That's Hi, right. Mom.